What's going on guys? This is part two of the video we are shooting today. So if you're wondering why I got the same clothes on, uh, the video you seen last week was actually shot earlier today. So this is part two of the video we're shooting today. And we're comparing the Acaso V50 Pro versus the Acaso V50X, which was another requested video. So we're recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. And the audio you hear is coming straight from the internal audio from both action cameras. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna turn this around so you can get a difference on how it looks with both action cameras at 4K at 30 frames per second. All right guys, so this is 4K at 30 frames per second. Again, audio is coming from the internal audio from both action cameras. Turn around right quick. All right guys, so let me know which one of these 4K settings you think look best. I'll get ready to switch over to the next mode. What's going on guys? This is part two of the video we shooting today. So if you're wondering why I got the same clothes on, uh, the video you seen last week was actually shot earlier today. So this is part two of the video we shooting today. And we're comparing the Acaso V50 Pro versus the Acaso V50X, which was another requested video. So we're recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. And the audio you hear is coming straight from the internal audio from both action cameras. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna turn this around so you can get a difference on how it looks with both action camera at 4K at 30 frames per second. <laughs> All right guys, so this is 4K at 30 frames per second. Again, audio is coming from the internal audio from both action cameras. Turn around right quick. All right guys, so let me know which one of these 4K settings you think look best. I'll get ready to switch over to the next mode. All right guys, so this is 2.7 at 30 frames per second. Stabilization is on on both action cameras. <laughs> Pan up, down. All right guys, so this is 2.7 at 30 frames per second. Let me know which one you think looked the best. You're getting ready to go into a shaded area. So you guys can pretty much get a difference on how these two cameras perform at 2.7 at 30 frames per second in the shaded areas. All right, getting ready to switch over to the next mode. All right guys, so this is 2.7 at 30 frames per second. Stabilization is on on both action cameras. <laughs> Pan up, down. All right guys, so this is 2.7 at 30 frames per second. Let me know which one you think looked the best. You're getting ready to go into a shaded area. So you guys can pretty much get a difference on how these two cameras perform at 2.7, 30 frames per second in the shaded areas. All right, getting ready to switch over to the next mode. All right guys, so this is 1080p at 60 frames per second. giving us a little color right here so we can see the difference in color between both action cameras. All right guys, so this is 1080p at 60 frames per second. Both stabilization is on at both action cameras. All right, guys, let me know which one you think looked the best. All 
Alright guys, so this is 1080p at 60 frames per second. Giving us a little color right here so we can see the difference in color between both action cameras. So this is 1080p at 60 frames per second. Both stabilization is on at both action cameras. All right, guys, let me know which one you think looked the best. All right, guys, so as you notice in the video, we didn't shoot any 1080p at 30 frames per second or any of these 720 frames per second. Uh, but if you want to see something like that, just leave a comment down below and I'll come back with another video because most people shoot uh, the lowest quality is a 1080p at 60 frames per second. But again, if you want to see 1080p at 30 frames per second on both of these action cameras, just leave a comment down below and I'll come back with a quick video showing that. But right quick, let's just take a look at both of these action cameras and, and you can tell they both look pretty much uh, identical other than the fact that the Castle V50X has these grips on the front. Um, both of them are pretty pretty much identical almost uh, the difference is just if Castle V50X has the mode button here versus on the top on the Castle V50 Pro they both have speakers on the top and uh, they both have speakers on the side and the different one thing that the Castle V50X has that the Castle V50 Pro doesn't as you can see is these up and down buttons right here these allow you to go in between different settings and also zoom in on your particular subject uh, the Castle V50 Pro does not have that you can control everything from the uh, the lens, the 20 LCD uh, screen on the back. So you know that's one other difference that between these two cameras. You know, again, they both have a spot to hook, hook up a tripod, and then of course you have your battery. And you have the back. You have again, you have your 20 LCD screens. The uh, Castle V50 uh, X screen is pretty bright, uh, really bright. You can't adjust the the screen, but you can adjust it on the uh, Castle V50 Pro. So that's one thing to note as well. So you can adjust the screen how bright you want the screen to be on the Castle V50 uh, Pro. Just go in your settings and swipe up, and you'll be able to do that. But on the Castle V50 X, you cannot adjust the screen coloring. But I do like the uh, Castle V50 X um, better than the uh, Castle V50. Pro screen only because it's bright. It's, it's not only it's bright, but it's the, the big. The, the letters are kind of big. You can see it. So to me, that's you know I'm used to that. And I didn't like this at first, but I've really came to uh, used to this to having the up and down button zooming in and out of your subject. So to me, I do like that. And I've come to get fairly used to it as well. But that's not taking anything away from this particular action camera, the Castle V50 Pro, because it does have it positive as well. So one question someone asked me was about the battery. And, and you can see in this video right here, no, you cannot use the Castle V50 Pro battery on the Castle V50X because they're a little different, as you can see right here. Sorry right, guys, this is going to wrap this particular video up. Again guys, if you have any comments, please leave them down below. I'll try to make sure I get to everyone. If you have any thing that you in requested videos just leave a comment down below and i try to get to those as well and like i told someone before no they're not the uh, gopro but you know gopro is a more expensive camera it's a really good camera as well but these are some budget friendly action cameras that can get the job done and i really like their castle brand i really 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 like that castle brand but you know again the gopro is supposed to be more and supposed to be better because of the price you would think that it will be better because of the price and because of what you get with a gopro you know, and again, we're talking about budget friendly action cameras and we're not talking about the $300, $400 action camera. We're talking about a uh, the budget friendly action camera. So again, guys, this is going to wrap this video up and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see the Acaso V50 Pro against the Campart V30, leave a comment down below. If enough of you uh, want to see that, I would definitely make sure I start shooting that video as well. But other than that, guys, I really do appreciate y'all. Please don't forget to get this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notification. Check out all the things I have listed down below. And I really do appreciate you guys. Peace. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.